Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Andrea and this is Beauty with Andy. So today is my what I got for Christmas 2020 um, and this is in no way shape or form to brag. I do these every year on the channel. I don't think I did it last year. I don't know what the reason was for it um, but I did definitely do one in 2018 which I will definitely link here. Um, it is currently Boxing Day as I film this. I don't know when it's going to go up, probably the day after Boxing Day. Um, so yeah, I thought I would show you what I got. A lot of it was makeup related. Like I said, I'm not bragging about what I've got. I know I've been spoiled. Um, but yeah, what we'll do is I'll talk to you first. Everything's in this trolley, my mums. It's absolutely um, full to the brim. I'll talk to you first about the non-makeup products. Right, so I've got to talk to you about this so my niece she's only 10 um she was basically giving everyone presents in the family um and my sister said oh well katie's wrapped you a present up for christmas and i'm like i share um and i was curious i thought it might have been makeup that i'd given her and that she was giving me back and i would have been completely fine it would have been like a prized possession of mine um but no it's so cute it's for, it's this little this little cat here she wrote me a letter as well um and i'm i've got to admit i'm not a fan of secret life of pets um this is where the cat comes from so i don't know what this um person's name is but i am going to find out and i'm going to try and watch secret life of pets this one looks quite grumpy um i don't know if they are in the film or not but i'm definitely going to be using this for my backdrop i think she was a little bit I gave her a present and she wanted me to open it but she wasn't 100% sure whether I would like it. I, I told her I would love anything that you um, put in that parcel for me um, and she went okay you can open it um, and there was a letter in there and she was trying to hide the letter away from me um, but I got it in the end. Um, I bought her a really nice handbag from River Island, she looks absolutely beautiful in it. But I'll, I'll say what my mum says about me, um, about Katie. Um, she, you could actually put her in a sack and she would look beautiful. My mum's saying it all the time. You could be in a bin liner and you'd look absolutely stunning, which I don't think that's true, but I think that's just a mum's opinion of me, um, a mum's opinion of their daughters. Um, so, yeah, I really, really like it. It's definitely going to be going somewhere over here or over here. Um, so, yeah, I love that. Um, and I like the fact that it was one of her teddies and she's um, she's given it to me. I really like that. Um, something else. More storage, guys. It's Christmas tradition for me to be eating for Rocher and I've eaten them all. Um, so I've got, I don't use the lid. I've got this little container here and I use this as storage. And I've actually got a new... Um, a new storage and that should fit in um, in the makeup storage that I'm using currently so yeah um, I'll be definitely using that um, another thing is that these are oh, the so beautiful my mum got me these um, and they I was gonna buy them for myself but then she said let me buy them for you um, so they're the Disney Mickey Mouse heads um, slippers I got them in size 7 but I could have quite easily got away with a 6 um, so I got the large um, which they do look really really big um, I should have got medium really but they are so so fluffy inside I cannot wait to use these um, so yeah that's those ones should have done it that way shouldn't I really um, so yeah that's those Then I got some ear pods. I've left them at my mum's though, so I can't I can't show you. Um, but they're just normal ear pods. I've been looking at the Apple ones for a while now, ever since I got my new Apple iPhone 11, and um, I just can't afford it, guys. I can't justify spending nearly 200 pound on headphones that I'm a bugger for losing anyway. So I got these for myself for Christmas. Um, these were 19.99 from TK Maxx. They're the Gentech 
two wireless earbuds and they're really really good you just got to make sure that you charge them a lot so when they are fully charged that takes about two hours and it gives you free charges on the um, earbuds um, it does say here doesn't it a wireless distance up to 30 feet playing time up to three and a half hours charging time about one and a half hours standby up to 90 hours battery capacity charging case capacity sensitivity true wireless earbuds they're just really really good I would highly recommend these and it just says position sound dynamic stereo sweat resistant auto pairing so yeah they're them um, I would definitely recommend them right and in this box here I'm going to show this last in this box here, oh, I'm going to try and show you all my makeups in there. Um, so where we're going to put this on the floor. Right, so I'm surprised. I know it's only a boxing day. I'm surprised I've not eaten more chocolate than I've eaten. I've not e eaten a lot, to be honest. I had a breakfast yesterday. My mum made me our Christmas day fry up, um, but it wasn't really a fry up. I had hash browns. Um, eggs and beans and then we had like a Christmas dinner later on in the evening and I couldn't manage it um, so I'm going round there again today to have some something else to eat um, so it's kind of leftovers from yesterday um, so yeah I'm going to have that but yeah I've not really been eating a lot of chocolates so my mum got me these matchmakers um, pearl mint ones so i've got them i mean i think everyone in my family wants to fatten me up she also got me guys i absolutely love these if you used to say what's your favorite chocolate it would be a toss-up between ferrero rocher and these absolutely stunning i cannot wait to get into these um then i also got which I've squashed some roses um so yeah they're nice but how many chocolates does a girl need honestly oh yeah and then my mum got me some Maltesers as well we actually got each other some Maltesers this year which was quite funny so already I've got one two three four boxes of chocolate so for Christmas I got five boxes of chocolate this year um right and then my mum got me this really nice dressing gown i was gonna get it for myself so basically it's got i'm not gonna get it completely out of the packaging it's got all these mini mouse heads all over it. it is absolutely stunning really nice red um dressing gown i'll probably wear that tonight because i'm not staying at my mum's tonight i'm gonna come home um and just get back to normal i will stay again probably new year's eve new year's day not 100 percent sure on that either and then she's got me some pajamas um really nice leopard print ones they're really cool i asked her to get me a really big size in pajamas i like well i don't like but i toss and turn a lot in my sleep um so i asked her to get me the largest size size that they actually do um which will probably be massive on me right and then i've got this really nice jumper i love this so so much so that is what it looks like i know i'm not in frame but yeah it's just really really pretty then i've got this i just love this to bits this came from quiz um, and the reason behind why I wanted it is um, it's kind of one of Caroline Flack sayings in a world where you could be anything and um, be kind but this one says it's it's cool to be kind or cool to be kind that's what that one looks like and then the hat then the um, arms it's gonna take a bit to get used to it's got like zebra print on it and I love anything animal print type um, so it's got zebra print arms I'm gonna try and show you 
So yeah, I'm really looking forward to using that. Or wearing it, not using it. And then the last thing is another top my mum got me. Um, do you remember ages ago when I got those like kind of turtleneck tops that were ribbed? Like this one is. Um, so this one is a size 14. Um, so it looks like that and it's just a v-neck one um, I wanted one like this I would have quite happily gone with a turtleneck one um, but I saw this and I was going to buy it for myself and again she said no I'll pay for that so yeah I got that off her so that's all clothing that I've got which is probably more than I've had in a long time I'm just going to put all this back in this trolley I was going to take it back to my mum's but it's really raining badly so I'll probably do that tomorrow well I'm not going to need to buy any chocolates from shop am I anytime soon Okay, right. Oh, this box is so heavy. Full of makeup. Okay, so can I put you back a little bit? Oh, that wind sounds awful. Why am I all like that now? Right, so let's try and. Oh. Right, so that's what it looks like. This is my. It's kind of a Christmas Eve box, or it was, um, but I put all my makeup in it. Let's take the lid off. Right, and then that's what it looks like. Gosh. Right, so I got this. So this is the Profusion Eye Sparkler. Sparkling Eye Topper Waterproof Shadow Stick. Um, it's in Dazzle and it's just got one of those kind of like glitter liquids almost similar to the Steeler ones and just a normal shadow stick um, so that's that and then I've got this Too Faced Natural Eyes um, which comes like that I do have the um, the older one let me just show you right so I'm just gonna take it out it's got a really nice box I'll probably just keep this on display wrong way getting off to a great start I'm not going to swatch anything um, just because it would take forever so this comes in beautiful packaging so that's the new packaging um, and then this one is the old packaging you can see obviously there's you know it's, it's kind of a lot bigger this one um, so how many right okay so the, the three bigger eyeshadows in here are 6.0 gram, 6 grams 0.21 ounces in this one um, and then the six smaller eyeshadows in this one are 5.4 grams or 18 ounces let's have a look at this one so the three eyeshadows in here are 2 grams so what was it in here yeah, I got that wrong. Two, the two grams in here, the three. It says three eyeshadows, two grams or 0 0.07 ounces. Yeah, that's the same there. Total net weight, six grams, 0 0.21 ounces for the three eyeshadows. Um, so it's the same. And then the six eyeshadows, net weight, one gram which you get in slightly more or 0.04 ounces um, so in the smaller palette it's 0.9 grams and 0.03 ounces so it's slightly less of which you would come to expect um, and the total net weight in the smaller ones in the newer version is 6 grams or 0.24 ounces and then in the old one it's 5.4 grams 0.18 ounces so you're getting a lot less overall um, this, I love that it's raised here. Um, so this is what it's. Oh, can I get in? 
this is what it looks like it looks absolutely beautiful really really nice oh, I love the smell it smells so nice now, I've not noticed like with this one this one ever smelling nice no it never had a smell to it but that's it there let's see about colors I will be doing a look with both of these palettes and possibly swatching them against each other yeah they've, they've got the same shades um, the only thing I would say that's different from what I can look like at the moment is on this one it's on the old one it's got day classic and fashion down the down the middle and then you you kind of go that way on all of them whereas on this one it doesn't have anything like that it just have the shade names um so that's that little samples come out right then I got this from my sister um, it's the Morphe 35i Icy Fantasy yesterday all I were doing was swatching because I didn't have like my makeup bag at my mum's I forgot to bring it I um, just swatched everything and this was one of the things that I swatched I still don't like the fact that they put these in because I'm always losing them but this is what the palette looks like this shade here is absolutely beautiful and pigmented what I will say from swatching them alone I don't know how it's going to perform on the eyes when I've got an eye primer on is they're very very subdued and almost lacklustre um, but I'm hoping I can get them to work I have spoken to someone on YouTube and they have said that pastels, which I already know, pastels aren't as pigmented. Um, but hopefully, yeah, I can get it to work. Um, because it was a present. Right. The next thing is this Urban Decay Moon Dust. So, as I was, to as I was saying, um, when Look Fantastic kind of ruined my... Natasha Denona Glam Palette. I had some I had some palettes luckily stored away for myself for Christmas and I gave this to my mum to put away for me. Um, so she's bought me this now and I've been wanting this for a while ever since it was released the first time around but I thought it was kind of limited edition. So it's the Urban Decay Moon Dust Eyeshadow Palette and I love Urban Decay Moon Dust Eyeshadows. I've only got one solstice but this is what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? It's so so gorgeous. I especially love this green here. Light year. Um, Vega is really nice as well. This element shade. If you used to say which shade of these don't you like. Um, this one not so much but the rest are really really pretty and then with that order i've got this i got a sample of this um oh it keeps coming out so the urban decay all night at long lasting makeup setting spray and it said you was getting five mil i'm sure that isn't five mil um it doesn't really say here how much it is but i'm sure it's not it's just like a little perfume sample um, but yeah I will use it right another thing that she got me was this um, and we've been switching around like products now she's getting me the Dior Jador perfume for my birthday instead of this um, so I actually bought that Dior perfume for myself and she said why don't I get that for you um, and I knew that I wanted it either off myself or off my mum um, and it, it's kind of more special if my mum buys it for me so I wanted this anyway really really soon and I didn't want to wait till February if I'm being honest and um, I've heard really really good things about it so it's a Too Faced Sugar Peach Wet and Dry Face and Eye Palette and in the um, Too Faced Mystery Box some people actually got this 
in their box and I was so jealous um, but they were saying that they didn't like it um, now it looks absolutely stunning so that's what it looks like really really pretty how can you not like this packaging though guys um, and that's what it looks like let's do it that way that's what it looks like there really really pretty yesterday I used this shade here sugared peach I used it dry and I really really liked it and then I used that peach pearl in the inner corner um, and at first I was just gonna put them shades down I put I just laid them down with my fingers because I didn't have any brushes I was just gonna use those alone by themselves but then let's put that away for a second and this by the way smells divine oh, it smells so so good like the other peach products um right let's put this back in right so yesterday as, as well as using that peach shade all over the lid i went in with this palette so this is the anastasia soft glam palette i've not got any of anastasia's palettes at all in my collection so i'm really happy to have this one um a lot of people say the palette a lot of people say their powders are, are really powdery and I completely understand what they're getting at now from using it just the one time. I just wanted to use this Dusty Rose shade with that peach shade and I also used Mulberry which is a shocker right considering I don't really go in for too darker eyeshadow and although I only had eyeshadow on I think that looked absolutely amazing. Well I had eyeshadow on and I had a lipstick so we'll talk about that in a second. I love the feel of this, so this kind of a velo feel but I'm going to have to be careful with it obviously with makeup and things like that so I'll probably always keep it in this packaging here. I think what I'm going to have to do is switch a lot of my makeup from that little holder there um just so i get to use all this new stuff right so let's hopefully finish off the rest of this video so i saw this a few weeks before christmas and decided to put it away for myself it's a w7 gingerbread beauties and it says here that it should have retailed for 9.95 and it was 4.99 so i thought i would pick it up it really reminded me of the two feast Two Faced, Two Faced Ginger Red Lipsticks that you can get. So let me show you what it looks like. So you get a lipstick and a bronzer. So that's the lipstick. Isn't the packaging cute on that lipstick? It's absolutely stunning. Um, I wore this yesterday when I did kind of minimal look. I should have took a picture, but I didn't. Um, and it's kind of got. I don't know if you're going to see this all over it, but it's kind of got stars on it. Um, it's really, really pretty. I'm going to swatch. And it's a, a creamy one. Um, so that's that. And then the bronzer. It's kind of a shimmery one. It's comes in the same kind of packaging really really cute it is kind of shimmery and very very dark if you ask me but if I put a light bronzer on and go in with this really really light over the top as a bronze topper I think it will work and this again has stars on it if you can see those there um, I'm going to show you what that looks like as well can you see there it's there just put a little bit on and I'm just blending it out so it does work and uh, you can obviously see it's more shimmery so that's those two there um, what else did I, I get oh yeah I also got this W7 double bubble blush sex on the beach um, I've got one of these and I really really like it they mimic the um, cheek to chic blushes by Charlotte Tilbury I don't know which one this one is meant to be a dupe of um, but that one looks like that if I can look on the Charlotte Tilbury website I will leave it down here somewhere so you can know which one it mirrors they're really really inexpensive um, so yeah I'm glad I've got another one of them in the collection what else oh 
I also got this. I cannot wait to use this. I always miss out on the best products in Essence and I, I saw this and I had some money and I thought I'd get it. So it's the Essence Choose Your Glow Highlighter Palette. You get a fair amount. You get 18 grams. So it comes with a nice size mirror. So you get candlelit glow here which is like a pinky peachy one major glow here which is really really nice and white and then a summer glow here um i think summer glow is going to be too dark for me maybe for an inner corner highlight it would work um but yeah i think it's really really nice and it was only five pound as well guys then in keeping with highlighter i did see this at TK Maxx with some money that I also had left over. So this is by Sigma Beauty. I only noticed when I got it back to my mum's to put it back in this box. Um, it says, I don't think I'm going to pronounce it right, Pract, which is spelt P-R-A-C-T-K. And then it says by Sigma Beauty and I'm like, Sigma? Surely not. Um, but I had a look and it is um and it's a synthetic fiber one should have been six pound and it was 3.99 it says tapered brush head for precise application just highlight it onto the high face high points of the face for a beautiful glow used with pressed or loose highlighter powders so i'm going to show you what it looks like um it's really nice it looks like that yeah, it's really, really nice, like that. I have literally been spoiled this year for makeup, and not only that, I had like the year Black Friday sales as well that I bought for myself. My mum also got me this. So it's the Disney Mulan. Um, it's just the 12 eyeshadow palette, and I've been doing swatches on this. It really is beautiful, and it looks like that. What I like about it is it has the names of the shades. So we've got, let me, sh let me show you, let's take this tape off. So we've got Bloom, Courage, Warrior and Be True To You up at the top. The middle row is Guardian, Strong Heart. I love that, that gold glitter, it's called Strong Heart. Spirit, um, Little But Lucky, Beautiful wild and free and i love these kind of turquoise shades um be brave and that dragon shade looks amazing um what else i think we're getting to the bottom of it now right and also i've been after this for well, since it was released, but I refused to pay £26 and my mum got it for me. Um, it's a Benefit cookie. Um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I've done swatches on this. I don't know why they put these brushes in. It's I just don't know why I don't like them. Um, then it's got the little plastic insert there. And then looks like that. I'll do you a swatch of it. It's so nice and smooth shiny and reflective i've heard so many people talk about this i can't wait to try it out for myself and i've just dropped the brush on the floor see that proves i'm not meant to have it right and then i've just got three things left just one makeup thing um and it's this w7 hashtag ott magic metals and this one is in purple prism so again it's like the um, Steeler ones. I will swatch this for you. These are so so nice. They actually look better than the Steeler ones just purely because it's a duo chrome. I've put it over the bronzer by mistake, but let me let's let that dry down. Um, and I'll talk to you about these other two products I've got. Well, it's things to wear. So my mum got me some earrings from Warren James some hoops and I've not had some hoops for a very very long time um, so let me show you these I probably have a nightmare putting them in but they're like those um, twisted crayons that you can get so they just look like that I think they'll look really really pretty 
um, so you should see them in a video really really soon and then the last thing I got actually I got for Christmas Eve every Christmas Eve I buy myself new PJs let's have a look so my mum was like if you didn't know you'd think you was wearing a onesie and they really do look like a onesie so it's got Minnie and Mickey all over and then it's got like hearts and Christmas trees and whatnot. So that's what that looks like. That's the top. And they are really, really comfortable. They're not the best. I got them from Primark. They're not the best cotton that you'll buy. But um, yeah, they're all right. I like them because they're Christmas and then the pants look like that um, same again like Minnie and Mickey all over and it says Mickey and Minnie um, so now let's sh sorry I just had to change the battery for the third time in the last two videos that I've uploaded right so I was just saying for now um, that kind of ends the video but I'm going to show you the eyeshadow the liquid eyeshadow from um, W7 it's just this one here so it's the duochrome one so it's white but then it turns to pink i don't know how well it's showing on camera because i've kind of smudged it into that brown bronzer that i am but i really really do like it i think it would look really nice as a topper or just by itself guys this concludes the video this is my entire one i got for christmas 2020 i really do appreciate all the presents that i got um didn't expect to get as much as i did i feel like i got so much for christmas again i'm not trying to brag or anything like that in this pandemic um there's a lot of people that can't go out christmas shopping and um yeah i mean i did the majority of my mum's christmas shopping for people um, but she did sneak a few presents in there for me so i'm really really appreciative of that um so yeah this concludes the video guys thank you so much for watching please like share and comment and if you're not already subscribed why not hit that subscribe button down below and click the notifications bell and i will see you in the next one bye guys